Hello everybody and welcome back to this new episode of Textile with Alberto. Today we're going to talk about polyester. Wow, polyester, the most used fibers worldwide. So we will see a little bit of production, history and other things. Very interesting, so stick around. I think you will enjoy what I got for you. Hey guys, I'm Alberto and I'm a textile technician that lives and works in Italy. I have decided to make this YouTube channel to share all my textile and leather knowledge with you, but without further ado, let's see the definition of polyester. According to the European Regulation of Textile Fibers, polyester is a fiber form of linear macromolecules comprising at least 85% by mass in the chain of an ester of a diol and terephthalic acid. You didn't understand anything, right? Me too, don't worry. Actually, all you have to know about polyester is that polymer is the same of the plastic water bottles and it's the PET. It's quite interesting because since it's the same polymer, if you actually are wearing a 100% polyester t-shirt, actually you are wearing plastic, so it's like the same polymer of the plastic bottles. There is also a problem here because if you think about polyester, polyester is a reaction between alcohol and acid and if you consider that also PBT is a kind of polyester and it's a different polymer, it's used also for swimsuits because it's chlorine resistant and also polycarbonate which is used for example for greenhouses is a polyester. So when you read 100% polyester on your t-shirt, 99.9% .9 of the cases, trust me guys, in textiles we refer to PET. PET is a polymer that in nature doesn't exist, that's why it's a man-made fiber, but it's not like viscose, because viscose comes from wood pulp, and in this case it's 100% synthetic, so we put the polyester over here under petroleum-based fibers. Also, if we, if we have a quick look at the microscope, we can see that polyester is perfect guys, it's flawless, it's straight, it's perfect because it's chemically created and chemically transformed by humankind and we all know that actually nature is not perfect, so cotton is not perfect, but polyester is. Polyester was invented by John Rex Winfield in 1941 Actually, polyester was not so used in the past until 1970. What happened? Terline was created. Terline was a 100% polyester yarn, very advertised as a kind of a miracle fiber which was worn for 68 days and was still presentable without ironing. Let's have now a quick look at the producers of polyester worldwide. Polyester is the most used fiber in the world. Actually, 50% of the total fibers consumption is polyester, guys, which is very, very, very much. More than half of the textiles worldwide are basically plastic, and the demand of polyester is increasing each year by 7% steadily. There are a number of polyesters in the world. We can see that actually US is leading along with Germany and Italy, Denmark, Belgium, Netherlands, and if we have a look at Asia, India and China are leading along with South Korea, Japan, Taiwan. Why is polyester so common and so used worldwide? We will see that later in the pros and cons. Before, I would like to tell you guys all the production of polyester. I have decided to divide the production in two steps. The first one is the creation and the manufacturing of polyester chips. What are chips? Basically are tiny little balls of plastics that are made by the chemical companies and from the plastic chips you can obtain bottles, plastic objects in general and plastic yarns, in this case polyester yarns. Let's see very quickly the production of the polyester chips. The raw materials used for the manufacturing of polyester are terephthalic acid and ethylene glycol. So basically an acid and alcohol. All these two come from oil. So we have oil extraction. From the oil we take the oil to the refinery. We create the naphtha which is a distillate and from the naphtha we obtain paraxylene. The oxidation of paraxylene takes to terephthalic acid. Ethylene glycol is obtained in the same way, with distillates and manufacturing of the crude oil. So as you can see guys, the polyester is 100% petroleum based. Once we, you have the polyester chips, you actually take them to the spinning mill. What happens in the spinning mill? You put all these chips into a hopper and from the hopper you heat them up 
and with the temperature high temperature you actually extrude these chips to a spinneret and you create some kind of spaghettis of plastic and then all these plies are rolled up together into a single yarn of polyester yarn and all the rest is basically the same as the cotton textile supply chain. Let's see now the most interesting part which is the applications of polyester. There are a number of applications of polyester guys. We found polyester in clothing, in upholstery, awnings, technical textiles, sales, agriculture, automotive, films, bottles, filters, insulation tapes, non-wovens, sewing threads, ropes, microfibers, industrial applications. Why polyester is so common? Let's see together all the pros and cons of polyester. First, polyester has great tenacity, it's very strong guys, compared to cotton and natural fibers. It's cheap compared to other fibers and it's very, very versatile. That's actually the most important and the greatest performance of the polyester. Why it's versatile? Because you can actually add other chemicals into polyester, for example, you can add flame retardant properties or antibacterial properties, so you can actually build your own polyester yarns according to your needs. Then polyester doesn't shrink and doesn't have wrinkles and trust me guys this is very cool if you take for example polyester from the washing machine you don't actually need to iron it. It's heat resistant and it's hydrophobic and it's actually a pro but it's also a cons. Color fastness is very cool guys if you scratch all uh, 100% polyester t-shirt you are sure that the color doesn't go away. Also the process to create to manufacture polyester yarns is quite cool guys because you don't use pesticides that are used for example in cotton and secondly there is no deforestation because it's not like viscose guys. If you take for example viscose you actually have to cut plants and cut the trees to create viscose. In this case you don't have to do that. So as you can see guys a lot of pros that's why polyester is the most used among the textile fibers worldwide. Natural, artificial and synthetic fibers 55% of the total consumption in the world. But polyester is not perfect it has some downsides. The first one is breathability. Polyester guys is plastic so it doesn't let your skin breathe that's why if you want to sweat a little bit more you actually take the plastic and go running. Secondly, polyester is not good for microplastics. If you put for example 100% recycled and virgin polyester t-shirt in your washing machine, actually all these tiny little plastic are removed from the yarns and go to the river, to the lakes and then afterwards to the ocean and the fishes started to eat these kind of microplastics that you can actually cannot see with your own eye but finish into the stomach of the fishes and then we eat fish so it's not that cool guys. The third and fourth downsides are basically correlated guys are basically the same. Polyester is a petroleum based fiber so it takes quite a long to decompose around 200 years to decompose but actually this means nothing because polyester decomposes according to the width and to the, the dimensions of the polyester stable fibers. I actually could talk 20 or half an hour more about polyester but I won't because there are too many things to say so if you have any kind of question I'm at disposal naturally in the next video I will surely talk about polyamide so nylon guys and then we will talk about some textile curiosities so yeah the fiber saga will be over as usual new ideas and comments are much appreciated so yeah that's it for today guys I hope you have enjoyed the video and I hope you have understood something about polyester so synthetic fibers in general stay safe take care I'll see you guys in the next video